Right. So in the last session, we discussed about the basic importance of uh, a CRM application, right? So and for what purpose CRM application is being used. So how to, uh, is it the importance of queries, right? So how to create queries of uh, importance of creating filters. This is all something which was discussed in the previous uh, session. Now I'm going to discuss about an accounts part because this is where generally if you want to create any kind of accounts and all everything, uh, first of all, account creation is one thing which is essentially important whenever you're working on the Salesforce application. Because if you want to create any kind of contacts, right? So because CRM is all about the data whatever we have taken, et cetera, all that, right? So if you want to add any kind of context or something of that sort, we can do it. Otherwise here, we can see that there is an option where we can go to uh, connect here, account here, because there are two options. One is if you want to import any kind of data from an existing thing, right? So which we can import the data over here. That is one thing which we can do it, right? So because uh, last time, have told you that. Or else we have two other options, one where we have to create an account, add account here. So we need to create, first of all, accounts, right? So what are account name and all everything we want to create? Uh, I'm just creating an account name uh, called POS, okay. It's right, so account name called POS is created. Right, so right, so com. I've just created right. So what kind of uh, what type type and all right? So here I'm just selecting it as an analyst. Okay, in description, writing something here. Okay. So search for the accounts, right? So if you want to create a new account, wherein new account can be created apart, okay? So because account in this account, we are creating a one more account. For example, here, what we are creating, we are creating an account name, okay? For a point of sales system. Sometimes for this point of sales system, whatever the account new created, new create we have created, in this, you may be required some, to create some multiple accounts for that. So that's the reason why we need to search the parent account. But first time we are creating an account so that we don't require, we don't have any parent account as such. So once POS, POS account is created, next in future, if there is any additional accounts which are connecting to POS, we are creating as an example I'm taking. So that will be added to the existing ones. That's how it is. Otherwise, the same whatever the parent account we have created remains intact. So parent account was already there, right? So here, uh, your, uh, this is the first time we are creating, hence parent account will be the same. So here we need to write down the phone number, right? So billing address, etc., shipping address, all that, right? So, so once, if you are clicking on save and new, the data will be saved, right? So PYS data will be saved over here. Right, so POS data will be saved here. At the same time, if you want to create a new contact or new accounts and all everything, we can create else a part, okay? That is one thing which we can do it. Now, this is an account we have created a point of sale system wherein the, we have given some website details, etc. all that. So at the same time, majorly we need to understand about who is managing the accounts because when it comes to the authentication and authorizations, etc. This is always important where we need to have an account of an, uh, some uh, some account is required, right? So, uh, uh, so account owner name and all everything were required. Because if there is any authentication authorizations we wants to make, it has to be accessed from there itself. That's the reason why account owner, account owner will have all the rights to uh, edit the data, right? So or else authenticate and authorize the information and all everything. Uh, account uh, account owner will be having sometimes this role will be given by the admin right so because i, I can say salesforce admin team and all right so they will be doing all the stuff 
and when they have created right these are all something because i am not detailing all that because this phone number billing address shipping so whatever uh, the existing account was considered as as right so everything we have to be included in this regard now if you want to upload any kind of file right so if you want to upload any files and all from the existing ones wherein uh, of course, I have not taken, but let me take the old uh, sample data, whatever I have. Uh, for example, salaries, right? So point of sale system related salaries we are taking, okay, as an example. Right, so salaries is what something for this particular account. Salaries is what something which was created over here. So this is how generally an account creation we have created. So when is about DA salaries, owner name, when they have modified, etc. all that. So this is how generally uh, the creation of files is about something which we have to be add here. This is point number one. So we have created an account, right? So whatever the required account and all everything was created. In that account, we have created even an account and uh, uh, POA system account was created. In that whatever the required uh, data sets which you, which you want to be updated because there will be a data external data will be there where that external data is required for us to manage the transactions etc in this regard in this regard it is always important for us to create an account Followed by this, if there is any kind of external data or the data sets, whatever were already there in the application, that can be imported to the existing ones. This is also something we have to do. Next, assigning a label means if you want to assign a label, if you remember, we need to select the assign label part, right? So if you want to create an assign label, first of all, we need to create as labels first because the labels are something which is used for the easy identity purpose. So if you remember in Jira also I have shown you that same, right? So assign labels is bought something which normally we have to be performed with. Otherwise, if you want to click on edit, if you want to make any kind of changes or something of that sort, we can do it. Next, when it comes to the cases, right? So case information, for example, uh, as far as PYS application itself is concerned, there will be um, uh, unavailability of the product is a case okay unavailability of the product right for example customers uh, want some kind of uh, uh, resolution right let's say for example customers are coming on a store where uh, the products are not available right what are the required products and all everything were not available this is happening couple of times so when it is happening it may be impacted on the uh, sales over a period of time if it was if it was neglected that's the reason why if you want to create a new case so that this can be resolved by the respective team maybe inventory uh, supply chain management team and all because if the data is not if the stock is not available required stock and all this will be the uh, responsibility of a supply chain management team to make sure what is the required data must be on place right so they have to be taken care of etc that's the reason why here we need to create a new case, new case, uh, for example, new case, new I can select, okay, case origin, uh, this has been sent by email, okay, that is an origin because case has been received through an email, all that so, right, so priority, high priority, high priority. If there is any contact information, contact name, etc., all that, I'm just writing something. Okay, your contact name, right? So if you want to create a new contact, we can create. Otherwise, uh, we can contact any new contacts and all everything. You can write it. That's not an issue. Next, account name because uh, we have already created an account. Within that account, we are creating a new case, right? So subject description uh, of information, for example. Mm. products unavailable right so products are available
So, right. So, send notification email to contact. Okay. So, if it was the case. Otherwise, you can click on save so that the case has been created over here. Right. So, here this is a product, product case we have created. Because the case is about product and availability, right? So product, uh, there is no unavailability of the products. So because uh, there is an unavailability of the products, whatever we have taken so far. So there is an unavailability where we have to make it available, right? So because each and every stock must be available on time in the store itself so that we don't, it won't be affected in the sales in long run. If we don't do that, automatically it impacts on the sales and all. That's the reason why product and available is one kind of case wherein we have created. So next, whatever the files we have taken, because these are the files which we have taken for further updations, right? So for example, uh, for, ex for existing point of sales system, employee salaries, I can see. Because the kind of salaries what I have taken is employee salaries is what something we have taken. And if you want to perform or if you want to see the kind of activities, whatever we have performed here, here you can see show all activities. So wherein we can see what are the required activities if you have done so far. Okay, so everything we can see over here. Next one about this is where generally more actions because for example, we want to send any uh, this with any Gmail or something, right? So because you want to send email preferences. Because uh, if you remember when I created a case, I have shown you email creation is what something you have to perform, right? Mail, mail through mail is what something I have selected. In this regard, if you want to send with Gmail, here we need to uh, click on send Gmail. This is where generally connectivities are required. So here you can see there is a connectivity. This we must be knowing because whenever we are working on the Salesforce application, it is always important for us to connect with other existing applications also because Gmail is also one of the mailing application which we have to be connected with. So whenever we are connecting with Gmail application, whatever the required information which is to be accessed, right? So or else if you want to send any kind of notifications through that email address and all everything, so that we have to be configured. So if you want to configure, of course, you need to create an extension because extensions creation and all everything is what something we have to do. So once extensions and all will be done by, I'm talking about uh, integration part, right? So integration part is what something will be taken by, uh, will be taken by the admin team, right? So they have to create extensions for the project what we have created. At the same time, if there is any kind of workflow or planning or something of that sort, okay, any workflow planning and all, there are, available templates which are available if whatever the templates are required and all everything can be used so which is an optional thing which is not something uh, required but extensions when we want to go for extensions and all that so we need to identify what are the extensions are required and we have to make sure uh, to, to make sure to uh, connect the accessibility because this is where generally this accessibility will be there because this is all a store, right? So web store, because this is a cloud application, whatever the required information you want, whatever the required extensions or workflow planning we want to do. So we can add it because this is all paper use kind of stuff, right? So any additional information or any additional uh, data you want to use it as far as your application is concerned. So we can pay and use it for that, right? So because it's a cloud application. So, because there are a lot of application, a lot of information will be available. So, whatever is required information that can be taken. So, what are the services you wanted from the Salesforce, right? So, that that services can be taken. Because this is optional, because I don't say, depends on the type of project it, will, it requires. Whatever the extensions there will be needed and all everything will be varied. Because, because I don't generalize this for everybody. So this may be varied from uh, individual to individual because some projects wherein we required some extensions to be added to the existing ones. Some projects, it will be taken time. Okay, so that is one thing which we have to be known with. So these are all comes under the extensions part, whatever we can see. So extensions, we can add it for the existing application, right? So if you want to notifications and all everything can be sent because when we have created a case under point of sale system, I have mentioned the contact information and all everything through mailing system. That's what something which I have collected. 
This is what something which we have to be seen with. Next, if you want to see the availabilities and all, this is about the viewing calendar. So this is not much of important from the BA perspective. I don't see that. Or else if you want to see all the insights of the activities, this can be enabled uh, because that is not something required for us to enable or something of that sort. So this is how generally account creation is what something we have to perform because this is majorly for the application, whatever. Like this, we can create multiple accounts. Why multiple accounts? For example, uh, we are working in an organization where retail operations is one of our, uh, this thing, okay? Retail operations, uh, for example, retail store is using some, um, uh, some Salesforce application. Whenever retail store is using Right. So whenever retail store is using a, um, uh, and a Salesforce application, so there are a lot of departments will be there. Okay. Point of sale system will be used for the billing people. Right. So billing department required POS machine to do billing. At the same time, even, uh, even um, uh, HR people wants to manage their payrolls and all. Okay. As an example, I'm taking, of course, I've taken here as analysts, but if you want to create an account, as separate right so to manage payroll and all everything we can create one more account at the same time if you want to create an account for uh, not only for uh, this if you want to create an account for uh, inventory okay so to manage inventory and all if you want to create one more account and all everything so we can create one more account so within the organization within uh, within a retail store if you call if you call it as there are multiple accounts we are creating because billing system whatever the resolutions you want to make for a particular billing system will be as separate whatever the data are we going to maintain the inventory management system will be as separate at the same time whatever the data are we going to maintain for the uh, payroll related stuff payroll related stuff everything will be maintained so whichever the department I'm talking about, right? So these departments, but all these departments back end, there must be a CRM application we have to run. That's the reason I'm saying. Because CRM is an application which will be connected for every department required because customer stock and available. For example, here you can see this is an account we have created, right? So POS account is what something which we have created. Now, in this account, generally inventory management system, because if you want to see the stock positions, etc., there is an inventory management system which we have to be updated. Okay, inventory management system stock has to be updated here. Generally, if there is any kind of new opportunity you want to create, or if you want to create any kind of new business and opportunity, this is what something which we can use it. Or else if you want to create any kind of new contacts to the existing one, right? So for the account, whatever we have created. So within this within this uh, point of sale system, because account name was there. So if you want to create any kind of new contacts to the existing one and all, I'm talking about personal contacts, that name can be updated over here. In the, in the Within the account itself, you can create. You don't require to create anything as separate so that you can create everything over here. This is something which we can do, right? Whenever we are working on them. Just can you be online for a moment, please? One minute. Right, sorry. Right, so whatever the accounts we have created, if you want to act, uh, if you want an account which is to be added, because there is a case we are created about the products availability. So when there is any kind of product availability we have taken, it's always important wherein we have to cross check the inventory because inventory management or inventory system uh, might be there might be some errors or there might be a problem with uh, with inventory and all everything so if you want to create a new account etc so wherein whatever the account we are going to create so this is an account where we have a 
parent account because in this POS system, inventory is what something we are creating. Okay, for example, inventory. Inventory control. Okay, this is what generally an account I am creating. Writing something. Okay, so this is uh, other. I am just mentioning it as other over here. Okay, description. Right, so this is what generally the description we are. And if you remember for this inventory control and account, wherein we have here, you can see there is a POS. POS is a parent account, okay? Because in this POS parent account only, whatever the inventory control account and all everything, we are created like this. If you want to create multiple accounts and all everything, we can create. Right. So inventory account country inventory control account is created. So there are two accounts we have created. One is about the POS account, second is a inventory account. But make sure POS is a parent account, what we have created initially, and whatever the required cases we have received so far and all everything were mentioned in the cases here. So this case is relating to products and availability, means availability of the products are not happening in the store all the time there is a possibility where uh, uh, people whoever is coming are not uh, are, cannot see all the uh, whatever the required uh, right so they cannot see everything this is what something which they have to do Right. So whatever we have created this point of sale system, in this point of sale system, whatever the case we have created, for this case, it is related for us to create an inventory system because inventory control is what something we have created so that whatever the required information they want to update because they have to make sure whatever the required inventory management system they are going to maintain. So this is a sub-account for the existing POS account. Here, that's the reason why we can see here it has been clearly we have taken, right? So this is a parent account. Parent account is a POS account. For this parent account POS, whatever the account we have created is for inventory control. And of course, for both one, uh, even account owner will be the same. But generally, this, this is where generally we need to update the priority as well. Because this is an availability of the priority, we have to make it as a high priority item. So why high priority item? Because if I'm an, uh, the availability of stock is not there all the time, there are possibilities sometimes uh, it may lead to decline in sales over a period of time, which shouldn't be happened. So this is where generally the CRM application will work on. So CRM application makes sure what is the information whichever is creating by the customers and all, make uh, queries right so which was raised by the staff or someone right so about the availability or something of that sort will be managed by these people in regular intervals that's the reason why creation of account is one of the base and important element being into business analysis we have to do it now we have to learn not do it right we have to learn so why i have told you the learn is that account creation is not something being a business analyst you will be doing Honestly speaking, right? So because whoever has created the project, so the developer, every any, anyone, anybody can do it, right? Not you are the one you are going to do. But when we are learning any application, especially CRM, Salesforce application and all, it's always advisable. It is always important. I'm not specifying this as a role of a BA or a developer or an admin. End of the day, when we are learning an application, these are the basic minimum parameters 
again i'm repeating this is not something being a ba we are doing but when we are working on any application basic minimum creation of accounts etc everything must be uh, must be known for a person right so either you may be a ba or you may be of any other role so basic account creations and all everything are required and for what purpose these accounts have been created and all everything should also be known to you well in advance so then only it has an accessibility then only it has a possibility where you can manage the applications in regular intervals that's the reason why how to create an account is what something which we have to be updated next at the same time if there is any kind of settings if people wants to do right so for example if you want to create any kind of field settings right custom field settings and all everything we can create or else if you want to add or manage users or something like for example user management user management means people who are using the application okay who are using the application user management is what something we have to give right so invite your team right so i'm just creating and invite me of my uh, okay, this is the account I have created, right? Okay. I have just created, right? So, one of an account, right? For example, he is a standard user, right? So, not a system administrator. Standard user, I can say, right? So, you, if you want, you can send an invitation to them, right? So, once you have sent an invitation, invite was sent successfully. Uh, let me just check. Uh, just a minute. I will check. One minute. Let me check. Whether did I got the invite or not? Just give me a minute. Right. So here you can see one minute. I'll show you. Can you see the screen now? Right. So here I accept invite. Right. So this is what it is. So if you want to access uh, for your records and all, etc., etc. Right. So if you want to accept an invite, wherein you can click on accept. It is as same as like, uh, as same as like, uh, what we called uh, Jira, okay? SMS like Jira, right? Between we send an invitation email and all everything. So that here we need to sign in with email. Whatever the required email and all everything that we have to sign it. So once we have, right, so we need to do the signing. Right, so, right, so. Uh, using using this uh, email account, what we can do, we can add. So that's the reason why whenever we have given this, automatically this uh, invitation will be sent to the particular email address, right? So what are the invitation we have sent? We have sent it, okay? We have sent. Once it is accepted, once it is created, so of course we need to, because another person, whoever is also a member of a user, because user, for example, you are the user, user should also have an account. So, of course, they have to create the required passwords and all everything and what are the sample questions and all they can give. So, that that person will be a part of this. this that person will be a part of user. Or else it can be an administrator also, right? So, that is different, right? So, if it is an administrator or a user and all everything is what something which we have to be user. So, user management is what something we have to do, right? So, here, here we have to give a password. Uh, one minute. Right. So if you want to change the password, we can change the password. Okay. For this inventory control. Okay. Right. So 
Right. So this is where generally the contacts, right? So what are the required contacts you want to be updated or if you want to create any kind of contacts or something of that sort, whatever the accounts were created over here, right? So you, if you want to add any kind of contacts and all everything, we can do it because this is majorly we have used for the, uh, what we call this is majorly we have used for the, uh, for the, uh, for the again, user perspective, right? For the user perspective, we have used it. Or else if you want to change any kind of password, right? So or else if you want to add any kind of my groups and all over okay. that we can do it. That I will tell you later, right? So this is how generally an account creation is important. This is how generally account creation we have to do. So once we have created a major account, right? So whatever the major account was created, Within that account, if you want to create any kind of inventory accounts as separate, we can create a new account for this also. And whoever is going to access this application, it is important, right? So whoever is going to access this application and whoever wants to access the application, we need to provide some access credentials to them. Because even though owner is the person who has created an account, the user perspective will be there because multiple users will be using this uh, cloud application. At the same time, admin can also use this cloud application when it is required. So this is how an account creation is what something we have to do because unless if we have an account, so that whatever the queries are raised by the people, if you want to resolve the queries and all, so we have to update the required information to the existing repository so that uh, users or else administrators or else the people whoever is having a parent account or account owner can be managed this application uh, in coming time, right? So because if you want to access the data, wherein you already seen, right? So data, if you want to upload, you can upload the data even for this also, because this is a second account for the parent account we have created. POS is a parent account. And in that, uh, we have created one more account for inventory control. Even here, if you want to have any kind of data, right? So whatever the existing data for that, which you are maintaining, right? So normally, uh, XLS data or something, right? So any data we have. So the data can be accessed and that data can be uploaded so that the data will be used in the regular intervals in coming days. This is what and how usually account creation is what something you have to do whenever you are working on that. Salesforce application. Do remember, I, this is not something uh, I'm specifying as a role as a business analyst, but when we are working on the application, it is always important for us to know about the minimum, bare minimum account creations, etc. Not directly, you cannot work on the application and it is not advisable. It's my professional advice. Because unless until if you don't know about CRM application well, whatever the activities we do uh, may not be effective because you don't know which option where, right? So how to use this option, right? So that bare, 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 bare basic minimum things are always needed. That's the reason I have started from account creation. This is what something which I uh, discussed today. Clear? Understood? Bhavik, Garima, Lola and Samira. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. 